How are America's semi-trucks made? We live in a world that is connected all over like a web, and every day there is a huge number of business transactions. Many of the things we use every day are made in China, Mexico, or other countries. However, when it comes to semi-trucks, there are a lot of drivers who insist on buying trucks being made in the United States. You might be surprised to find out that some of the most well-known brands of semi-trucks sold in North America are made in different parts of the United States. Almost all of the thousands of vehicles that are traveling across the continent came from somewhere on the continent itself. Most of the market is controlled by four companies, Daimler, Navistar, Mack Trucks, and Packard. But Daimler Trucks has more than 40% of the market share. There is a lot of competition between the four most popular truck brands on the market. Each of them has its own patent-protected technology that it can use to set itself apart from the other companies in the same field. These companies are experts at making a large number of cars that are all different. For example, there are more than 3,000 different shades of white in the Freightliner paint catalog. But the industry is changing because new companies are coming in and making bold moves to make self-driving systems and electric semi-trucks. But some people in the business world think that most of these advances don't yet have a solid way to make sure they can be paid for. Most of the time, semi-trucks are bought ahead of time, and every detail is made to fit the customer's needs and wants. An owner-operator is another kind of independent truck driver. The majority of owner-operators run their own businesses and drive their own trucks. These customers can spend up to $200,000 or more on a truck and make it fit their needs by adding things like flat-screen TVs and wood trim to the sleeping cabins and making the interiors more luxurious. The process of manufacturing a semi-truck typically involves fabrication. It's the first step in the assembly process. This includes things like the frame, cab, and trailer. The next step is to install the engine and transmission into the semi-truck. This is typically done using a crane or other heavy-duty equipment. Once the engine and transmission are in place, the electrical and electronic components such as sensors, cameras, and displays are installed. The semi-truck suspension and axles are then installed. The suspension is what connects the wheels to the frame and helps to absorb the shocks and vibrations of the road. After all the major components are assembled, the semi-truck goes through a final assembly and inspection process. This includes installing the interior trim, attaching the wheels, and testing the various systems to ensure that they are working properly. The final step is to paint the semi-truck and apply any branding or graphics. The manufacturing process is highly automated and may involve the use of robotics and other advanced technologies. Once the semi-truck is assembled, it goes through a rigorous testing and inspection process before it is ready to be sold to a customer. As for the raw materials, semi-trucks are made from a variety of different raw materials. The frame and body of the semi-truck are typically made from steel, which is strong and durable. Most of the time, high tensile steel is used to make the frame's rails and cross members. Steel is also used to make the parts that make up the vehicle's suspension, axle, and engine mounts. Some are built, while others are cast in mold and then joined together. Some semi-truck owners now use aluminum in the cab, wheels, and body part, as it is lighter than steel. This can improve fuel efficiency. The frame and outside shell of the cab can be made out of steel or aluminum. Before steel is used, it will be covered with one or more layers of corrosion-resistant material like zinc. Fiberglass can be used to make the roof of some cabs, which makes it easier for it to fit around the tight curves in the corners. Plastic is used for various components in the semi-truck, such as the interior trim and dash. Hoods and front fenders are usually made from plastic or fiberglass instead of being hand-carved because they have complicated aerodynamic shapes. The front bumper could be made of plastic and supported by a steel frame, or it could be made by stamping and pulling steel or aluminum. Tires and other rubber components, such as the suspension, are used in the semi-truck. Semi-trucks have a lot of electronic components, such as sensors, cameras, and displays, which are used for navigation and communication. The engine is the heart of the semi-truck. It is typically powered by diesel fuel and made with a combination of metals and alloys, such as iron, aluminum, and copper. The transmission is the system that transfers power from the engine to the wheels. It is typically made of metal alloys and other materials that can withstand high stresses and temperatures. Polished stainless steel is often used for bright trim pieces like outside mirrors, sun visors, radiator grills, and grab handles because it has a shiny, long-lasting finish that is resistant to cracking and corrosion. The inside of the cab is finished with upholstery made of vinyl or cloth. The floors are covered with either carpets made of synthetic fibers or rubber matting. Molds are used to make the parts that make up the dashboard and the trim inside the car. The windows were made with a type of safety glass that was laminated. Overall, semi-trucks are complex machines that require a wide variety of raw materials to build. The materials used in the construction of semi-trucks have to be strong, durable, and capable of withstanding the rigors of long-distance hauling. Freightliner and Western Star Trucks, owned by Daimler, has a building in North Carolina that is about 1.5 million square feet. 
Since it opened in 1989, about 800,000 trucks have been made there. From the beginning, each Western Star truck has been made by hand. This makes sure that each truck can be highly customized to fit the needs of each application. The group's main goal is to make technology that is cutting edge and good for the environment, as well as to make cars that look good and are safe and are technologically advanced. Because of this, Daimler invests in research and development of effective drivetrains, with the long-term goal of making local driving completely free of emissions. These drivetrains include high-tech combustion engines, hybrid vehicles, and electric drivetrains that are powered by a battery or a fuel cell. The company is also making steady progress toward intelligent networking of its vehicles, self-driving cars, and new mobility concepts. This is just one example of how Daimler takes on the challenge of living up to its responsibilities to society and the environment. Daimler trucks are typically built in manufacturing plants that are designed to accommodate the large size and weight of the vehicle. The working environment in these plants is generally industrial, with large open spaces for assembly, paint boots for finishing, and test areas for the vehicles. The assembly line of the manufacturing facility is typically divided into several workstations, each with a specific task. The assembly line is designed for the smooth flow of the trucks during the assembly process. The environment in the manufacturing plant is generally well lit and ventilated, with good air circulation to help dissipate any fumes or dust generated during the assembly process. The working conditions in the plant are generally safe, with appropriate safety equipment and protocols in place to protect workers from any potential hazards. Additionally, the manufacturing facility of the trucks is usually equipped with a variety of tools and equipment, such as cranes, forklifts, and welding equipment that are used to move and assemble the large components of the trucks. Overall, the working environment in a semi-truck manufacturing plant is industrial and requires close attention to safety protocols, but is designed to allow for the efficient assembly of large, heavy vehicles. There are many popular semi-truck produced by Daimler. One of the most famous semi-truck models produced by them is Cascadia. It is known for its fuel efficiency and advanced technology, such as lane departure warning and collision mitigation systems. 5700 XE is another semi-truck, a premium heavy-duty truck produced by Western Star. It is known for its rugged durability and versatility, and is often used in construction and mining applications. At last, we have the Actros, a line of semi-trucks produced by Mercedes-Benz, which is a part of Daimler. The Actros is known for its advanced technology, comfort, and safety features, and is often used for long-distance hauling. Overall, Daimler produces a wide variety of semi-trucks that are known for their advanced technology, fuel efficiency, and durability. These models are used in a wide range of industries, including transportation, construction, and mining. I hope you enjoyed the video. We will be back soon with more amazing content, so stay tuned. And don't forget to like our video and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of our latest updates. And give us your opinion on this video. Tell us in the comments section below. Thanks for watching.